Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today's video is going to be a time lapse of me sculpting this character as part of a draw this in your style challenge. The character's name is Sharon or Sharon, not sure if I'm saying that correctly, and she is from a comic currently under development called Otherworld. The artist's name is Yezi Baba Art, and you can find her on Instagram. I actually stumbled across her challenge there just a few days ago when she hit 1,000 followers, so congrats, Yezi Baba. I've put a link in the description below to her Instagram in case you wanted to check some of her stuff out. What kind of caught my eye on the character was the hair. I thought it looked pretty neat and that it would be a good challenge for me from a sculpting perspective. It proved to be harder than I thought, as you can probably tell by the thumbnail to the video. I'm not a very good artist. I also noticed the little skull in her blouse and thought this chick seems pretty badass, so let's give it a go. All in all, the sculpt took about four hours or so, and it was a lot of fun just to try something different and new. I really enjoyed the challenge, so thanks again, Yezzy Baba, for the inspo. I'll try and provide some general commentary on what's happening on the screen from a Blender perspective, so I hope it helps. Thanks. See you guys. Okay, so just starting out the general block out stage with a rounded cube, blocking out the eye sockets, the nose, the lips, the eyebrows, the ears, and the neck. I'm not a particularly good artist, so capturing any sort of likeness was going to be tough for me. I just thought I'd try and capture the main points of the character, the thick reddish orange hair, the dark purpley skin. Uh, the freckles, the blouse, and the skull were kind of the main points I wanted to make sure I hit. I cheat her a bit and append some eyes I made earlier as part of my texture painting an eye tutorial. You might want to check that out if you want to do something similar. The character looked quite melancholy and sad in a couple of images I was using as a reference, so I pulled the brows down a bit and kept the mouth and lips flat and turned down a tad as well. If you're looking for any sculpting tips, I'd highly recommend a very popular YouTuber by the name of Yan Sculpts. He's super talented and is great at explaining how to sculpt in Blender. Adding the tooth. Thank you. 
adding a base for the hair, which I will ignore for the next hour or so. Here I thought I would block out the hair using these cylinders. I end up scrapping this later for curves, as you'll see. I just couldn't get it to work nicely. Now I'm using the boolean modifier set to union to join all the different meshes together into one and then smoothing everything out. Now putting in the bony landmark of the collarbone to help with shaping the sternocleidomastoid, which is the muscle that runs from behind the ear down to the end of the collarbone below the throat. Here I am adding the eyebrows. I'm using snap to face and the shrink wrap modifier. Now here I'm scrapping my original hair cylinders from earlier for curves. Curves are a little bit easier to manipulate so I thought I'd just go with this route and just duplicating everywhere to block things out. Painting the eyes red, adding the little front bangs she's got. Now I'm working on the little skull the character has on her blouse, going for that stylized look.
joining the eyelids using the same boolean method as before boolean union modifier I'm making use of a built-in blender add-on called bool tools which is very handy for this I also use the voxel remesher here to increase the poly count a bit and evenly distribute the vertices around the model Now I'm going in adding some detail using the crease brush and the crease brush while holding control to create those sharp lines around the mouth. Okay, to add some color, I'm going into the vertex paint mode. Vertex painting is a quick way to add color and texture to a high poly mesh without having to retopologize or UV unwrap. Sharon is supposed to have brown skin, not white, so I kind of messed this up. I knew it beforehand, I just thought I was going dark enough, but kind of missed the mark. Sorry, Yezzy Baba. Adding some low lights to the skin with another vertex group in the mix RGB node. Character has a few freckles around the face, so I'm adding them in by going down to the stroke panel on the right there and increasing spacing and jitter to 150% and 2 respectively. This gives a nice kind of randomized pattern. Okay, so I thought I'd add in some accents to the character just to spice things up a little bit. So I decided to add a strap and buckle here. Kind of imagine that she might have something like a satchel or a backpack.
creating a stitch for the belt strap. I have a tutorial on this if you want to check it out. Here I'm scrapping the hot dog hair and just going to sculpt it using the clay strips brush. Here I am trying to add some details to the hair to spice it up a little bit, but I just end up making a foot long croissant. More hair pulling, going to make use of the wiener hair curves from before by scaling them down and using them as accents on the base hair. The original character doesn't really have hair like this. I just thought I would diverge a little bit and add my own touch and style in this aspect. Mainly because the dreadlock style hair, I realized I couldn't really do convincingly enough. So in the original Draw This In Your Style image I saw of Sharon, she's lying in a bed of flowers and small branches at the foot of a tree. 
So I thought I'd try and incorporate this setting a little bit by adding in some flowers. Converting the hair curves to mesh and then mirroring over. And then I use the sculpt tools to kind of reduce the symmetry a little bit. Adding color to the skull and hair by using the dirty vertex color option in the vertex paint mode. It automatically adds highlights and lowlights to the model based on the geometry, which is really handy. In the interest of time, I didn't rig the character, so I can't really properly move her head and eyes. So I'm just manually rotating it into place here. Sharon also seems to be nestling with a crow in one of the images I had, so I thought I'd try to incorporate that into the composition as well. So I just make a rough shape of a bird real quick here. No real details, I just intended this to be cool. So there you have it, Sharon in my style. Thanks again to Yezi Baba for the inspiration and for allowing me to use her imagery and name in this video. This was a lot of fun. Thanks.